Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, my church family. I greet you in the name and in the love and the peace of Jesus Christ. For today's daily word, we're going to look into uh, Galatians and uh, chapter 2 and verse 20. So if you will, uh, listen as I share the word of the Lord. My old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not treat the grace of God as meaningless, for if keeping the law could make us right with God, then there was no need for Christ to die. Do you know, uh, a lot of times when we hear this, this verse, and, and this is just such a, a strong word from the Lord, um, when we hear this verse, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Often what we think is, you know what? Um, all of the desires that I have um, are gone, and I, I have only the desires of Christ. And it's about, it's about giving up. It's about giving up um, who we are, what we want, and so forth. And certainly there's an aspect of this. We... we give our lives to Jesus Christ. We, we take up our cross. We die to our old lives. But we think of it as giving, uh, giving things up, as sacrificing uh, more so than anything else. And actually, the context here is the grace of Jesus Christ. This is a gift. This is about a gift, the gift of God's grace. This is about receiving when he says, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, and then he goes on and he says, I don't treat the grace of God as meaningless. He says, if keeping the law could make us right with Christ, then Christ didn't need to die. This is about the cross. When he says, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me, what he's talking about here primarily, primarily is about actually trusting the grace of Jesus that no longer am I trying to, to gain God's approval by what I do, by my observance of the law. I am trusting in the grace of Jesus. That is the gift, and it is receiving that gift that causes us to want to love Christ so much that we would die to our old self. And so when we get to this reading here in the journey through the Bible, my encouragement is that we see this, first of all, as getting, as grace, as a gift, the gift of salvation in Jesus by grace, not by what we do, and then to see that the sacrifice follows that gift. And it, it's we love Christ because he first loved us. And then sacrificing our old self when we're in this relationship with Jesus, when we're experiencing his love, uh, it, it's actually... It's actually not begrudgingly that we make sacrifice, that we give up our old selves, our old desires that are sinful. We do it with joy because our true desires, the desires of our souls, are being uncovered and fulfilled in Jesus. So see this, friends, in the light of the grace of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. I love you, church family. And until we talk again, may God bless you and keep you. Bye-bye.